while things just keep on getting more and more interesting in the world of EVs. Wow, guys, what a time to be alive. We are going through an incredible process of complete market transformation. And isn't it awesome that we are here at the start of it to see it all happen? Hi, guys, welcome to the Electric Singularity. If you're new, great to have you. Remember to subscribe so you get notifications from the channel. If you're not new, welcome back. Great to see you here again. Now, guys, in China, wow, the market is really, really starting to take off. And if you're not keeping a close eye on it, you might not realize what's happening. Now, obviously, Tesla's doing well, but so is BYD, NEO, and Xpeng. They're all absolutely crushing it and either tripling or quadrupling their sales from this period last year. Now, obviously, Tesla is also doing very, very well. Even before it was released, Elon Musk predicted the Model Y would be Tesla's best selling car. Let's be honest, that wasn't hard to predict. So much so that it would likely outsell the Model S, Model 3, and the Model X combined. Now, obviously, Musk has also predicted the Tesla Model Y would become the highest selling car in the world. Whether that will happen, who knows? Possible. Now, Tesla sales in China this May suggest that may be the case one day. It's possible. Who knows? As per recent figures released by the Chinese Passions of Car Association, CPCA, Tesla sold a total of 22,000 vehicles in China in May. Now, that number is comprised of 12,728 Model Y and 9,200 Model 3. This means that in May 2021, Tesla's all-electric EV outsold its sedan sibling in the largest EV market in the world. Now, Tesla doesn't actually export the Model Y yet out of China because they have too much demand in China and they can't make enough of them. But they do export the Model 3. So the reason for the Model 3 not selling more is because 11,527 Model 3s that were made in China were exported worldwide. So they're doing very well, China. Sorry, they're doing very well, Tesla, in China at the moment. Contrary to all the false media reports coming out recently, that obviously took it, really had an impact on Tesla's stock price in a way that was just truly ridiculous. The fact that it's legal to be able to be a short seller and then spread false news in the market and cap- capitalize on that false news is insane that we allow this to happen. Anyway, obviously, Tesla is doing well despite reports to the contrary. However, What about the other guys? Well, let's have a look at the sales charts here in China for EVs. Now, the top 15 models, number one was the SGMW Hongwan Mini, which sold an incredible 29,706. Now, guys, honestly, I personally believe if these guys, SGMW, if this joint venture, if they could build 100,000 of these a month, I think they would sell them. Let's be honest, 5,000 US dollars for this vehicle is insane. What an amazing, I mean, this is the, really the brink of this point in history of transportation where we're looking at a period where, sure, it may not be relevant to you, but for 80% of the world, you're going to go from a, a situation where either you can maybe just afford a motorbike or just afford a, an electric bicycle to now all of a sudden, out comes this mini EV for 5,000 US dollars. Maybe you could just stretch. And for the first time ever, you own a car. Exciting times and such an, such, such an important car for the world. I've mentioned this in other videos. This is the most, car, the most important car for the world. Anyway, good to see they're selling well. Number two in China, Tesla Model Y sold 12,728. Tesla Model 3 was number three with 9,208. That was down 17%, but obviously there was a lot of Model 3s exported from China globally. Now, number four was the Chang An Ben Ben EV, sales of 8,370, which was an incredible increase of 355.4% year on year. So compared to May last year, it was nearly four times as many as they sold in May last year. That shows you where the market is going, doesn't it? Number five, GAC Ion S, sold 6,752, and that was an increase of 73.5% year on year over May figures last year. Now, in isolation, if the figure sales went up 73.5%, you'd think, oh, that's fantastic. But because we're comparing this to other manufacturers who sold in one instance, we'll get to it in a second, 10 times more EVs than they did last year. In fact, 18 times more EVs than they did last year. Crazy. 
So, in sixth place was the BYD Han EV. Now, I've heard that in China, there is currently a long wait list for the Han EV. So if you put your name down, you may have to wait three, four, five months even. So apparently BYD is struggling to build enough of these cars, which is a really good thing. There's huge demand for the Han EV, and for good reason, it's a really good looking car. And it's not just a good looking car, it's actually a good car. Number seven was the Sherry EQ, which sold 5,632. And that was an increase of 119.7% over May last year. Number eight was a BYD Quinn Plus DMI, which sold 5,542. Now that vehicle didn't exist like this time last year, so we can't compare to May last year. Now number nine was a Lixang One, which sold 4,323 cars. And that was an increase over May last year of 101.3%. Not too bad, not too shabby. But next up, Xpeng. The Xpeng P7 sold 3,797 vehicles. Remember, there's the premium vehicle. Obviously, the premium segment is much smaller in China than the budget segment. But they sold 3,797 P7s for an increase of 1,877.6% over May last year. Xpeng is really ramping up production and clearly there is huge demand for the P7, which is obviously a very, very luxurious car. Looks good on the outside. Looks probably even better on the inside. You can see why there's demand for this vehicle. But this kind of demand, I don't think anyone would have predicted their sales would have increased by a factor of almost 19 times 19. Not 19%, 19%, times 19. Okay, the next car here on the list is the Hoson Nita V, which sold 3,049. And next up, we have the BYD Quinn Plus EV, which sold 3,263. Now, obviously, this car wasn't for sale on the market in May 2020, so we can't compare to then. So we'll move on to the next car, which is the Leap Motor T03, which sold 3,147 or an increase of 623.4% over May 2020. Next up, BYD E2, which will soon be replaced by the EA1. That sold 3,106 for an increase of 117.5% over May last year. And finally, in 15th place was the Neo ES6, which sold 3,017 for an increase of 12.4% only. But Neo, Neo, we need to talk about Neo because Neo doubled their EV sales in May 2021. Now, we all know, well, I'm assuming some of you know at least that Neo is currently constrained by semiconductor supply, but they will accelerate production in June this year. So Neo reported strong sales of 6,711 electric cars in May, which is 95% more than a year ago, and not far from the records they set earlier this year. What I can see, guys, is that NEO is producing cars at their maximum possible factory capacity. In other words, they have the demand. The demand is there for NEO to build more vehicles. And I'm sure that if NEO could actually build more at this point, they would be selling more. In fact, I think they could sell probably three times as many vehicles as what they currently are if they had production capacity to do so. Now, the ES6 remains the top selling model with a small year-over-year -year growth of 12%, followed by its coupe version, the EC6, with 2,282 sales. Sales per model for NEO, the ES6 five-seat SUV sold 3,017, up 12%. The EC6, the coupe version, the ES6, sold 2,282, now that's a new model. The ES8, which is a seven or six-seat SUV, sold 1,412. Now, those obviously are being exported to Norway right now. I believe they're going on sale possibly next month. So you should see sales of that. The ES8 increase as well because of their exports. That sold 1,412, which is up 88%. So we have a total for sales of NEO of 6,711, which is up 95% year over year. In other words, NEO doubled their sales in May this year versus last year. And I believe that's just due, due to production constraints. So. So far this year, sales for NEO. Cumulative total for 2021, ES6, 14,268, EC6, 12,154, ES8, 7,451, and that 
makes for a total of 33,873 vehicles, which means NEO are up 225% versus the same time last year. Now, NEO maintains a delivery guidance of 21,000 to 22,000 vehicles in the second quarter of 2021. That's 5 to 10% more than in Q1 and more than twice what NEO delivered in Q2 2020. So should you invest in NEO? I really like the company. Some people have asked me on the channel if, they, if I think you should invest in NEO. Personally, I don't. However, that doesn't mean you shouldn't. I don't because they're not in my top three. I would consider them probably put them in maybe sixth or seventh on my list. That's great. But do I think that they're going to provide the highest returns in the market? No, I don't. Could they? Potentially? Yes, they could. Now, guys, what about Xpeng? Xpeng are really doing some impressive things. And there's a lot of hype around the company for good reason right now. The Xpeng P7 set a new monthly record of almost 3,800 units in May. And Xpeng reported 5,686 electric car deliveries in May, which is 484% more than a year ago and their third best monthly result ever. So it's five times more than they sold in May of 2020. That is a really, really impressive result. Now the Chinese manufacturer is especially happy about the record sales of its P7 flagship, as they should be, which sold 3,797 units, or I would say as many as they could possibly build during May. Xpunk said, the number of P7s delivered in May reached a record high of 3,797, demonstrating the strong customer appeal of Xpeng's market-leading smart features. Launched in January this year, Xpilot 3.0 and its navigation-guided Pilot NGP highway solutions have achieved a strong set of customer utilization rates. Additionally, these solutions enable the company to generate incremental revenues from its proprietary Xpilot software. Now, the most important factors that drive the sale that drove the sales up were the new P7 wing edition and the lithium iron phosphate battery powered G3 and P7. Xpeng offers two models, the P7 and the G3. Xpeng P7 results, like I said, 3,797. Xpeng G P7 sales, sorry. Now the Xpeng G3 sales were 1,889, which were up 94% over last year. That means Xpeng sold a total of 5,686 for an increase, like I said, a 5x increase, 484%. Amazing. So, so far this year, Xpeng has sold 14,766 P7s and 9,407 G3s. That gives them a total sales, cumulative sales this year in 2021 of 24,173 or times four. So they've sold 427% more cars this year than they did last year. Guys, if we see the same doublings, now what about BYD? Well, BYD also did insanely well in May. Let's be honest. BYD published its sales figures and its share of EV sales grew to 71%. You can see it won't be long before BYD is electric and hybrid only, and then not long after that before they're electric only. BYD sales figures in May of 2021 were 32,800 EVs and plug-in hybrids, about a 190% increase over the same month last year. Now, BYD sold 18,711 EVs last month in May, 126% more than in May 2021. Now, guys, I'm hearing from people in China that BYD has huge demand and is actually struggling to meet demand right now. Now, I don't think it's they're struggling because of battery supply. I think they're struggling because of simply of just their ability to make a total vehicle. So if we're just coming down to them supplying more batteries for cars, I don't think that's the issue here. I think what I've heard the issue is BYD is having is that there's more demand for their cars than they expected there to be, and they just don't have the production line capacity right now to meet demand, which is great news because that means BYD are just going to start ramping up factory production because they're confident that the sales demand is there. I'm sure you've heard of the chessboard analogy. If you haven't, Google it. How many grains of rice on a chessboard? If you double the number of grains of rice from the first square to the last square, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, you'd be amazed at the, the actual result. It's more than trillions. So this is, this is what we're seeing right now. If we just see the sales of Xpeng, Neo, Tesla, these companies continue to 5X, 4X, 3X, 10X, crazy things are going on. This is such an exciting time to be alive. And you know what? 
I love working on this channel because there's never a dull day. There's always news of something, new models, new technology, more sales. Everything is changing for the better. Guys, thanks for watching the channel. Love bringing this news today. So, such exciting stuff. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.